So we have already talked about uh, introductory parts and infections and uh, pathogenesis of Helicobacter pylori. Now in this video we will be talking about a little bit about treatment. Sorry. <laughs> about treatment of helicobacter pylori or helicobacter pylori now for the treatment purpose what we require as we know that helicobacter pylori infections are common in uh, GI uh, regions or gastrointestinal regions now as they are related with uh, the environmental conditions like the acidic environment can kill them and that's why they are providing the urease enzyme which will convert urea into ammonia so that the basic environment will neutralize the environment and all these things now to kill them one thing we can do is that we can we can induce or we can we can reduce so let me talk about we can reduce the proton pumps proton pumps present proton pumps present in the cell of gastrointestinal lining so if i draw it again if these are the gastrointestinal lining cells these cells are having proton pumps so let me draw they are having proton pumps through those pumps so it will look something like that so let's say these are the proton pumps so these are say proton pumps proton pumps now through this proton pump proton can ent enter or exit so proton can enter or exit okay so usually it exits exits outside right so that the, if if this is the epithelial lining of cells and these are the mucosa and this part will be uh, the stomach region right so proton will be released outside in all this case as a result of release of the proton outside so let me draw this it should be in this direction arrow so proton uh, can be out now if you block this proton pump it will lead to less release of protons outside so as a result our uh, gut lumen or we can say yes our gut lumen uh, will be less acidic and that will end up with less damaging effect on this endothelial cells after the infection of helicobacter pylori right but the other times this proton pump activity is very very important otherwise some important proteolytic enzymes will not be functional anymore because they require the acidic environment to function properly okay now that's one thing that we can do so for the treatment of the cam uh, of this helicobacter pylori infections what we can use we can one way of going it is to use proton pump proton pump inhibitors proton pump inhibitors we can use it proton pump inhibitor inhibitors can be used uh, and the second case is obviously this is a bacterial infection so we can use antibiotic this is always there right so if we are using antibiotic among the antibiotics among penicillin type of antibiotic what we can use among penicillin type we can use amoxicillin okay Let's talk about second one among macrolides or macrolides. What we can use clarithromycin, and among other type of antibiotics, we can other type of antibiotics we can use this kind of proton pump inhibitors. Right, so this is one of uh, very important because because the infection usually caused by Helicobacter pylori of uh, two different type. One is one is gastroenteritis or gastro so so gastritis. Let's say gastritis. This is the first kind, and second kind of infections or second kind of uh, disease symptom that they cause is is ulcer, right? Now ulcer means damage in the epithelial cell line. Now this damage is caused by acid. Or high acid content and the high acid content is made using or it is possible using uh, activity of proton proton pumps right so if we block so this is the idea if we block proton pump it will reduce the acid content so it will reduce the effect of ulcer so that's what we are doing using this proton pump activity so we can use this type of antibiotics which are the proton pump inhibitors and on the other hand, we can use amoxicillin and uh, 
but you can say amoxicillin and clarithromycin so it, it is a clarithro not c this is a cl so clarithromycin or amoxicillin for the killing of the anti uh, for the killing of this helicobacter pylori bacteria inside so in most of the cases there are combinatory therapy using proton pump inhibitors along with amoxicillin or clarithromycin to treat this kind of heli helicobacter pylori infections okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you